Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time, we continued to explore Atlantis and we fought ourselves Lord Wu Fak Fak. A boss with such a questionable name, I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to say that without getting demonetized on YouTube. But in this episode, we're going to go ahead and finish up exploring Jolly Roger's Lagoon. First things first, I want to take the warp back to town because that's going to make things a lot easier on us. Since now, we want to go ahead and make our way back down this giant hole here in the very center. Since now, we can go ahead and open the way into this giant UFO that's just sitting here underwater. So let's go ahead and use Kazooie here as Torpedo, open the door, and make our way inside. So this is what the inside of a UFO looks like. Very dark if you ask me. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Whoa, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? No, we Elf, Beta, and Gamma. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess, you need to phone home. No, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we have ice eggs or anything. But we do have a Jinjo up there. But this Jinjo is oddly placed for us. Looks very suspicious. We have all five Jinjos here in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. I wonder if that's a Minjo. Oh no, I would have never guessed. It's not like there's six Jinjos in a world. Nah, it's only five. Our ship has run out of fuel, as we have no ice to power it. Not so superior now, are we? Yeah, I mean, come on. You didn't think of bringing an ice bucket? Our ship has run out of fuel, as we have no... Oh, you're just saying the same thing. You're still not superior. If you talk about the ice too, then this is going to be very disappointing. He talks about it too. Wow. You all just have the same dialogue. That's pretty sad. And yep, very well rehearsed. So what we need to do is we got these little four targets around. We want to go ahead and shoot them with ice eggs. Power up the other crystals quickly. Yeah, we only have 20 secs to activate all four crystals, so... Just stay in the center of the room, go into your first person mode here, and just shoot these holes with your ice eggs, and then you should be good to go. Thank you, Earthling Bear and Bird. Now, please exit our ship, as we need to leave. We are late for dinner. Uh, any chance of a reward? We landed on the shiny thing. You may have that. Now go. Alright, well, I guess we get that said shiny thing. Go to space, Minjo. No one wants you. Just ride home with the aliens. Go to whatever planet that they're on. You deserve to be there, not here. Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now, let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. Well, from the sounds of things, we may be seeing those aliens later. But for now, let's go ahead and grab the Jiggy they left behind. And there you go. It's another Jiggy down. So, let's go ahead and make our way over into this little cave here on the side. Because now we want to make our way into this area with our new Kazooie torpedo move in hand. So, let's just go ahead and make our way to the warp zone. And now we're back over into Smuggler's Cavern. So here, let's go ahead and separate Kazooie from Banjo. And we want to swim into this fish because he has a Cheeto page. And unfortunately for me, this is really awkward to aim with, so... There we go. We just want to go ahead and turn around and then just keep on changing the camera angles depending on where the fish is. And we should be good. But now using Kazooie, we can go ahead and break open this pipe. So let's go ahead and swim inside. And in here, this is just like the pipe that took us to Glitter Gulch Mine, except this one takes us to a place called Granty Industries. 
we already got a sneak peek of this world here in Jolly Roger Lagoon. So this is world six. We want to go ahead and make our way here because this actually takes us to a section of Grunty Industries that we can't get to normally. So this here is the basement area and has a Jinjo. So there you go. Guys, this is another Jinjo. Take a look here through the window. Got ourselves a long pipe and looks at things. That seems to be the same Jiggy we saw earlier from the other side of Jolly Roger's Lagoon. So this is the same room. Now, we won't be here for quite a while, so that's a nice sneak peek. So, that was a little helpful Jinjo to get. And let's just go ahead and make our way out of here now. That Jinjo won't really show up on your total screen just yet, but that is a Jinjo that's counted for World 6. So, when we get to World 6, we're already going to have a Jinjo already in our inventory. So, that's good to know. But, that is it. That's everything we can do in that area, so let's get out of here. And make our way back into the Smuggler's Cavern. So, before we leave this area, I want to make a note of one more thing here. And it's this Jiggy that's just sitting on this ledge. Now, we're supposed to come back here once again for this Jiggy. This is another thing they make you backtrack for here in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. We have to wait until World 7 to get a power that will allow us to make that giant gap. You can technically get it now by using Kazooie by herself with the running shoes. If you time your jump just as the running shoes are going to expire, you jump with the running shoes expiring so you can get the extra speed from the running shoes. And then you use Kazooie's air flapping moves in the air. So you press X for her attack and then you press the A button to flutter. But we're not going to begin this jiggy right now because, again, this is one we have to backtrack for. But I do want to make note that you can technically sequence break to get this much earlier than you're supposed to. Well, let's go ahead and pay Jolly a visit now that we saved his girlfriend and collect our Jiggy. Thanks for rescuing my partner. Make nothing of it. No, honestly. I'm rather pleased. How about a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Perhaps later. And please accept this modest little trinket instead. Thanks for the jiggy and all, but what's with that initial camera shot? That was really weird. I didn't need to have a zoom in of his crotch. It made me feel uncomfortable. Thanks again. Stop zooming into the crotch. That's very uncomfortable. I'm afraid our jukebox is broken at the moment. A real pity. I just love dancing to the salty seaman shanty. Perhaps you'll find a way to fix it. Yeah, so that's actually a little thing we'll remember for later. This jukebox we can't interact with for now. But we can actually do something with the jukebox much later. So we'll keep that in mind. But for now, that is everything we can do in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. So if we go ahead and pause the game and look at our totals, we'll go ahead and see we have everything collected but three jiggies. And two of these jiggies we're not getting for a very long time. So this is a world we're definitely going to be revisiting at least one to two more times in our adventure, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave. Because, again, there's nothing else for us to do, so we're just gonna go ahead and get out of there. So, let's go ahead and take our little warp here. And for now, we're actually gonna go over to the Pine Grove. So, at this point, we're ready to go ahead and continue exploring the Isle of Hags. So, Let's go ahead and do so. And we need to actually go into Jolly Roger's Lagoon to learn a move to continue exploring this area. So we needed to learn the Kazooie Torpedo move in order to break open this rock. So now with the rock broken open, let's go ahead and swim through this cavern and continue exploring the Isle of Hags. By doing so, we're inside another digger tunnel. And you know what that means. With that rumbling, there's a boss up ahead. Klungo is back for round two. Oh no, not you again. Ha <laughs> ha Mistress said Klungo must stop you or I get more beatings. We'll give you another beating too. No, Klungo win this time. Has new potion to try.
Yeah. Not find Klungo now. Yeah, we can still find him eventually here. Just wait it out. And then he just appears because the potion makes him flicker in and out of existence. So not the most helpful. And for us, we can just shoot eggs at him and make it even easier too. Because we have the homing egg sheet on. So the eggs are just going to home in the Klungo. So if we just shoot him immediately after he gets out of his attack, he will just go immediately back into his shield move here because he doesn't have a chance to do anything. This invisibility potion of yours really isn't that good, Klungo. It's pretty terrible. Baron Bird beats poor Klungo again. It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No, Mistress needs me. Klungo return for more beatings. Then work on new potion. Yeah, hopefully the next time you come back here with a potion, you actually make one that's not defective. That potion seemed very incomplete, dude. That's why you failed. It wasn't really a good potion at all. It was pretty bad. But here we are. We're in the wasteland. In the wasteland, we got ourselves our final move we can learn from jam jars here in the Isle of Hags. The ultimate egg for you to hold. A clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. That'll be all. Dismissed. So this is our final egg type of the game. The clockwork egg. This egg is so useful. It's a very cool designed egg because it's a remote controlled egg. So I'll be showing it off here in just a second, but would you look at this? We got ourselves two Jinjos. One is real, and one is fake. Shoot him and see which one actually reacts. Oh, the red guy. You flinched. You die today. Yeah, it's always going to be the left Jinjo. That's always going to be the one that's the real Jinjo. So, yeah, that was a clever way, honestly, to use the Minjo and Jinjos together like that. But let's go ahead and show off what the Clockwork Egg does. So let's go ahead and spit it out. And this is it. You can use the left stick to move. And then you can go ahead and press the X button to detonate, killing anything on contact. You have 20 seconds to move around with this ability, which is pretty helpful because this can be used for a lot of different puzzles. The camera's pretty zoomed in, unfortunately, so that doesn't really help, but you can detonate it right next to this minion and kill him on impact. It's really satisfying to do that. So clockwork eggs here are very useful, but they do come at a really bad cost because you can only carry a total of 10 of these things by default. Using the eggs cheat, we can carry more clockwork eggs, but it's only 20. So it's not that much better, if you want to be honest. 20 eggs is still pretty lackluster. But at this point, we're all done here in this area. We can go ahead and open up the new world, so... We make our way back to the Wooded Hollow here, and pay a visit to our good old friend Jiggy Wiggy here, in order to open the way to our next world in the game. But, I think we're going to go ahead and do so in the next episode. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we'll open the way to World 5. I'll see you guys next time.